Ready, Ian? Let us head off to fight the rad roaches. Take me to the rad scorpion cave. Let's hit rad roaches, rad scorpions. Are you sure you want me to give you directions to the rad scorpion caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Yes. We arrive at the dilapidated, dark rad scorpion caves. You can already see loads of rad scorpions around. This is going to be a long day. Hopefully Ian can carry us here. I'll quit my weapon. And we'll slowly gang up on these rad scorpions one at a time. Okay, this one's facing this way. Let's hit him. I'm just going to pull back. Let Ian shoot him. Good job. You're worth every penny I paid for you. Got some ammo on the floor here. More over here. Something I didn't know was here. You have to be real careful and look everywhere in these caves or any place you go. Loads of hidden things just placed randomly on the floors. Oh, Ian's going in for the kill with a knife. Guess he ran out of ammo. Ian is running. Oh, don't get him. He's going for the kill on Ian's. Can I save him? Yes, kill them. Let me just in combat. Can I heal you? Just aid on Ian? Yeah, I healed him for three points. Let's heal up Ian then with my first aid skill. Okay, so he's healed up a bit. Hopefully we can go in and kill this last rad scorpion. I'm just going to read these books. Might as well. Oh, well. Can't do it in here. I'm going to read the Wasteland Survival Guide. I can remember how to use them. Come on, Ian. Last guy. We can do this. You really don't have any ammo. You have to have ammo. You couldn't have used it all. Have ammo. What are we doing? Is this not pistol ammo? 10 AP? He just unequipped his weapon for some reason mid fight. That could cost you your life. You know, I need to tell you to draw your best weapon. You're that scorpion. I'll try to take the brunt of it this time. Oh, he's just in runaway mode. That's interesting. Good, I should dodge one. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, Ian, I got him. Oh, that was rough. Maybe I should have gone to Vault 15 first. Either way, we cleared out the Rad Scorpion Cave for Shady Sands. We're going to make our way back to Shady Sands. Tell them of our victory. Oh, it's Poison Level 9. Go talk to the Doc. 
It's late. Come back in the morning. I need your help, Doc. Are you hurt? Yes. Great, Brahman. Why didn't you say so? I did. Okay. Here you go. This will take a little bit of time. Come relax in the back. You might have a slight headache. What the weapons are you skilled with, Ian? I am good. I'm a good shot. With just about any sort of pistol. I can use a submachine gun, too. I also know how to handle a knife. Well, pistol and knife I agree with, but... Last time I played, I remember you killing me quite a few times when I gave you a submachine gun. Okay, let's go talk to Eridash. Ah, things are much more settled now. Raslo has been working on a cure for the rad scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. You don't need to worry anymore, I destroyed them. You mess. are truly a hero. Know that the people of Shady Sands are most grateful. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye now. Okay, so now the plan is we're going to head out to Vault 15, Ian. Just going to go check it out a bit, see if there's any loot. Never you mind why I want to go there. Off to Vault 15. This must be the Raiders. Small shack is all that remains of this area. Fortunately, your records indicate a secondary entrance to Vault 15 there. Here we go. You see a ladder. Which leads down to a darkly... Dark gloomy room with rats. With the vault door completely made scrap. This place has definitely been overrun. I could tell Ian to use Millie here only, but I'll just try to kill the rats quickly. Oh, kicked him, but that is not the plan. Ian, I could use a little help. Don's gonna shoot me in the back. Maybe it's better this way. Hey, well we just managed to clear out the first room of the rats and we gained the level. Okay, so for this, I think my real option is smooth talker. This I think this Skill fits perfectly with Ted Bundy's personality. A smooth talker has learned to increase their options and dialogue without understanding what they're talking about. Each level of this perk will increase your intelligence, one for purpose of dialogue only. So that's why I believe everyone describes Ted Bundy as an intelligent, charismatic guy. And I think he was more intelligent through his charisma. So this this works perfectly. Yeah. I think the natural choice is to bump up midi weapons here. Bump it up to 100. Good one, fine. And the rest will go into barter. But we're going to continue our way into the dark vault. That is a uh, Mora, I believe. I think I can kill this by myself. I don't need Ian's help. Squeak. On in. Help me out here. Gonna look very thoroughly all the nooks and crannies of this place. Like, see right here. Oh, we're right there. Right here, you can see that there's two flares on the ground. Tiny little sprites. So you have to look real close to find everything you need. 
this is the elevator that keeps going down into the vault deeper. We're gonna clear out this first floor. Oh shit. Damn you, Ian. You don't really care about my life, do you? You're making me nervous, man. Making me real nervous. Go ahead, just shoot the last one. No, I guess. Killed the remaining rats, I believe. I'm just gonna carefully search the floors of the vault for any gear we could use. I don't see any working computers. What's this deal? Oh, nice. Add kit and some stim packs. I'm gonna head up or head down into the vault further. But of course, to do that, we need a rope. In shady sounds. Someone mentions that when you ask about Vault 15, which I forgot to do, that you're gonna need a room, some way of getting in since its access is prevented from the broken elevator. You successfully sling the slope down into the elevator shaft. You first, Dan. Being out of range, this game. We check out room by room, clear everything out. Check out the bathrooms, see if there's anything here. You see right here that this is a hunting rifle. We'll take that. Or at least end up selling that. Oh, what's this? Some ammo on the floor. I think that's hunting rifle ammo. Nothing in the bathroom over here. Doesn't seem like it. Nothing around the side of the table. Oh, there's a rat here? This room looks clear. Let me just check for anything on the floors, in the corners. There is a locker here, now that I notice. Let's open up this locker. Some rope and some leather. Let's equip that leather armor. I think it's leather armor, or hide armor. Another jacket. Either way, it's my first armor. I don't need to look like a vault dweller anymore. Maybe I can even hide my my whereabouts a bit better. The trick shot over here shooting over my damn shoulder. So now let me equip the second rope we just found. Right off here, the next elevator shaft. You successfully sling the rope down into the elevator shaft. Imagine if you were super unlucky, it just slips from your hands and falls down. You have to go find another one. Oh, shit. That's rude. Oh, I'm unarmed then. Ian, good job. Out. Oh, Ian almost killed me there. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Go on your rampage. I'm going to heal myself. I feel in middle of combat like this. I do it in combat. Okay, Ian, go on your rampage. All you, buddy. Oh, 
but can you not defend yourself now all of a sudden? Gotta be kidding me, Ian. Yeah, I swear if you shoot me, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be so angry if you kill me. Over this way so Ian doesn't shoot me in the back. That's better, you walking up on them and shooting them instead of just shooting through me. Thing over here? Seems to be a room with two lockers and a pile of rubble. An SMG that I'm definitely, definitely not giving to Ian. Dynamite, I believe. And some frag grenades. Which I will sell because... From my experience in this game with frag grenades, unless you have high levels, you will drop the frag and kill yourself. So I'm not gonna mess with explosives. Not yet, at least. You were able to determine that the command and and the control center is definitely buried under even more rocks. You'll have to look for the water chip elsewhere. Okay, so apparently our mission is not successful as the water controller is buried behind these rocks and most likely is completely destroyed. Let's continue clearing out this place for the experience though. You go deal with him in the end. I'll go deal with the other rats over this way. Ian is caught in that animation thing again. Let me go support him. Impact because he's so stupid he just gets hit by the rats because he targets shit he's not supposed to. Okay, what can I do? What can I do? Can I heal him? Doing in. Over here, silly man. And I heal you. I think I've only healed three times this day. Okay, I need you to change formation. Move out to longer range. And hit him because I can't move my camera angle, and Ian's in the way. Another locker with some ammo in it. Magnum ammo. With that, I believe we cleared out Vault 15. We learned, obviously, that the water chip isn't here, and if it is here, it's destroyed. So we have to find the backup plan. Another vault. Make our way up the elevator shaft and back to Shady Sands. We're in desperate need of some rest and recovery. Thank Darama, you here, Wanderer. My girl, uh, Candy, Anderson, Andre Dush's daughter. He's been kidnapped. We believe the raiders have her. Where are these raiders? They're to the southeast. Please hurry. I don't know what they'll do to her. How much is this job worth you? I knew you were a heartless mercenary. We'll pay you very well for so saving her, rest assured. All right. I'll take care of it. Let me go talk to her father. See if he will give me a better price for more cash. Thank goodness you came. I am in desperate need of assistance. My daughter Tandy is missing. I do not know what to do. Are you trying to save My her? My people are not skilled in this. Already three patrols have gone out to look, but none returned. Will you help me? 
Hey, who could have taken Seth her? Seth and I believe one of the Raider clans is responsible. Retribution for our resistance to them. Take this spear. It was found where my daughter was last seen. Okay, I'll Please check it out. talk to Seth. He knows much about these Raiders. And Godspeed, Wanderer. So, Eridesha's daughter Tandy has gone missing. We're gonna have to go rescue her. Hopefully he will give me a fair price. Bring her back alive. Let's go pay the doc a visit. Before we leave and search for Tandy. Have a sample. If you want it. We see the sack. It's night time. Looking for Tandy. Can you help? Uh, Tandy is gone. I find it hard to believe, but maybe she ran away with Seth. I know that they have been eyeing each other lately. Eridesh has was always a little bit of a prude. Perhaps it was too much for her finally. I don't think so. I think that she was kidnapped. Oh, how awful. If that's the case, I hope she's not hurt. Who is looking for her? Many people, including myself. If she is hurt, it could be bad. Here, take these. I hope you won't need them. Hey, Doc. I need your help. I'm hurt. Time for us to go look for Tandy. So we have to head down to the Raiders. Go inside. I don't really want to dally too much here. What do you want? I'm looking for a woman named Tandy. Seen her? No, I ain't seen her. Why are you asking? Nothing, just looking for a friend of mine. Oh, okay. Let's head inside. You can obviously see that Tandy is, in fact, here. Let's go talk to the boss. What do you want? I want you to set the girl free. Oh. I've come to negotiate peace to release Tandy. Hmm. Well then, what do you offer for her release? I represent a threat. You don't even understand. Do you really want to risk the our wrath? Hmm. For some reason, I believe you. You may take the girl, but do not return unless you seek our wrath. Thank you, Khan. You're reasonable. Oh, what's your name? Just a gang leader. He is the Khan, though, I would imagine. Let's get out of here before... He changes his mind. Andy? Andy? You not follow? Oh, there she is. Back to Shady Sounds. You gain 500 points for freeing Tandy and 400 points for returning Tandy. You've gone to level up. Nice. Let's see what we can level up now. Okay, what level am I? Level 4 still. Okay, I'm going to continue just leveling up my three main ones. Let's try to get speech. I'm going to get barter up to 100 first. And we'll put the rest into speech. Speak to town Hi. quickly. I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Oh, that was great! Action! Adventure! Anyway, if there's anything that I can do for you, you just ask. How about you and I, well, you know, get together? I'm not that kind of girl, mister. Go find a Brahma or something. <laughs> so Brahma is the singular for Brahmin? Brahma. Okay, interesting. Let's go talk to her father, since we couldn't get 
any reward from her. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. Thank you, Aradash. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's going on Since around here? Since you brought my Tandy back to me, things are quite fine. My hey. eternal gratitude to you, Wanderer. See you Until later. we meet again, my friend. I think we've exhausted the possibilities of what we can do here in Shady Sands. So we're going to seek out the next town of Junk Town that's supposed to be southwest ish from here. Let's say about here. What is this? Junk Town. Okay, I was, I was a little off, but at least we know where it is. I guess I am pointed me in the right direction. Made it without any encounters. Nice. You come across a medium-sized town, a wall of junk cars block the easy entrance. A hazy smoke lies low over the town. Welcome to Junk Town. What can I do for you? What are you doing here? What is this place? What does it look like? I'm a guard. I'm keeping an eye out for strangers like you. And this place is called Junk Town. Hey, don't laugh. I happen to like the name myself. We mostly do trading. Sometimes we trade with those stuck-up bastards from the hub. Hey, you're not from the hub, are you? Me? No, I'm not from the hub. Hmm, okay. It's not our place to ask questions. Have a good day. And don't make any trouble. Well do. Let's head into Junk Town. Can I help you, stranger? Can you give me the big picture in Junk Town? Me and my men work here for Kalian Darkwater. We keep some order in this town, dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who come from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll also stay away from Gizmo. That bat head runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the Skulls, are going to take the fall sometime soon. If Kaylin has anything to say about it. So what keeps you law boys from just busting Gizmo and the skulls? Got to do it all proper like. We know that Gizmo runs a, a rigged operation and all. But we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the skulls. They rough someone up. We bring one or two of them in but nothing changes. We just don't have any direct evidence trying to find them to any of the killings or muggings. Maybe I can help you with that. Hey, if you think you can some, get some dirt on either of them, we'd appreciate the help. Alien's the one to talk to if you want to talk about Gizmo. But if you can get some info on the skulls, just come back to me, and me and my boys will take care of them. You see a heavily muscled, scarred man with a mustache. There's a hospital, there's a jail. What's there in here? Nothing much. Just a few guards. The jailer is here. 